Joining me now, celebrity and royal commentator Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, let's start with the controversy surrounding the latest edition of Vogue magazine. Critics have criticised its front cover portrait of Kamala Harris. It looks like she's been given quite the makeover, a bit of airbrushing there. And to add insult to injury, the photo was reportedly taken on October 7, the anniversary of Hamas's terrorist attacks on Israel. You think she'd have other things on her mind on that crucial date, Kinsey? Yeah, I mean, Anna Wintour are remembering the biggest, I mean, the, the most slaughtered Jews since the Holocaust. I don't know. I don't know, Kamala. It is being report, reported by the New York Post that that is what she was doing. She would argue that she also planted a tree that day with her husband who slapped his girlfriend and impregnated his the, the nanny. Um, so I, she would probably justify it by saying, hey, I had a full schedule. I also planted a tree. But I think it's pretty vile to um, ensure that you've shot that Vogue cover versus, you know, really making an effort to listen to the Jewish community who have felt abandoned by the Biden administration over the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's not just the conflict in the Middle East, which is ongoing, but the increase in anti-Semitism. And it's amongst the left. It's amongst the people who back her. So she has an even an added responsibility there because we've seen it in university campuses, even within her own party. The squad has said some shocking things even in the last year. Now, Kinsey, let's move on to Warner Brothers' sequel to its hit 2019 film, Joker. It has garnered some of the worst ratings of any major film released this year. The film is a musical and features Lady Gaga and uh, fans are posting their reaction. Uh, they're not impressed. Guys, me and my wife are view and we're going to go watch Joker 2 and uh, the screening before us, everyone's leaving. Like, every <laughs> everyone is leaving early. It can't be that bad, right? We'll see. The reviews are saying it's bad, but everyone is leaving early. What the f this. I'll let you guys know how I rated it. That's garbage. Y'all see that movie right there? That movie. Right here. See that movie? Joker 2? That's trash. I asked to see a movie, not a Broadway musical. It's not what I pay my money for. They add nothing. They add absolutely nothing. Ultimately, I found the script to be very, very thin. Yeah. And if you were to take the musical numbers out of this, I really don't think you'd have anything left. My issue with Joker 2 is that it fundamentally, fundamentally doesn't want to and doesn't need to exist. Yeah. Now, according to Rotten Tomatoes, the film garnered a pitiful 33% from the critics and just 32% from the audience. And in addition to its uh, box office opening earnings, uh, only 60% of what the original 2019 film took, Kinsey. So what was Warner Brothers thinking with this one, involving Lady Gaga, turning it into a musical? Uh, and like we heard there from the critic, the actual storyline, the script is almost non-existent. Yeah, I think Warner Brothers knew that this wasn't it. There's a great shot from Good Morning Britain where the reporter asks the stars if ever if this was everything they expected and Gaga Phoenix and Phoenix kind of look at each other awkwardly and laugh. And, you know, according to Punk News, Warner Brothers declined to test Screen Joker 2 to audiences at all before the film was complete. So to me, that says we don't want it to get out that this is a nightmare. But then why release it? It's not a, a little independent production. This is an expensive venture. You would think if you could tweak it and make it watchable, you would do that if you're Warner Brothers. Uh, now let's talk about the Swifties, the, uh, the ex-girlfriend of Taylor Swift's current boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, has spoken out about how her fans, the Swifties, are trolling her online, just leaving disgusting messages. This is despite the fact that... Kayla Nicole and Travis Kelsey stopped dating back in 2022 and Kelsey didn't start dating Swift until uh, September 2023. Why would her fans be abusing this poor girl? 
Okay, so you, I told you were first to know. I've I've handed in my Swifty card. I'm no longer a Swifty, but I have to say that the Taylor trolling started after Kayla liked some mean tweets about Taylor Swift on social media. The Swifty ah. saw it. She also unfollowed Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes and was very public about it, saying I unfollowed them because you know I was seeing them with uh, Taylor Swift and it was upsetting to me. I, you know, it's the Streisand effect. If people know they're getting to you. You, they're gonna go harder so i think that she gave too much of herself away by acknowledging i'm hurt by tyler and taylor now uh, kinsey rapper kanye west and his australian wife bianca sensori they were rumored to be on the rocks divorcing but they've just been spotted in tokyo together seemingly happy what's going on there Oh my God. An insider said that their relationship is definitely rocky and described the couple as not divorced yet. And a new lawsuit accuses Kanye of drugging and assaulting an ex assistant during a P. Diddy studio session. So there is no shortage of drama when it comes to the West family. In the same court documents, his ex assistant claims that Kanye allegedly told his wife that he wanted to sleep with her mom while she watched. Oh. What? Okay. Um, that's a different uh, world to ours, Kinsey. Um, I'll just uh, digest that and we'll discuss it next time. Uh, before you go, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have come under fire for accepting $6 million in donations from Fidelity Charitable, a group that reportedly also donates to supposedly anti-LGBT and anti-illegal immigration groups. Uh, that is certainly at odds with the very woke Sussexes and their very woke brand. Uh, is there going to be a, a refund sometime in our future? Well, I highly doubt that, but this, you know, puts a smile on my face because Harry and Meghan's motto is show up, do good, and clearly not Google who you're associated with. This is one of a slew of people that Harry and Meghan should have second guessed before uh, getting in bed with because you are who you associate with, and this is a very bad look for the Sussexes. Well, it's certainly very inconsistent with with what they've told us they're about. Uh, before you go, uh, just quickly, what's this story about Meghan Markle saying she's the most bullied person in the world? Did she actually say that or was she misquoted? Well, her team says that she didn't actually say that. But, Rita, I found an article in 2020 where she did say that. So she said it before. Why would she not <laughs> say it again? I think this is just a master class in gaslighting, considering the fact that she has been accused recently by 12 former and current employees in The Hollywood Reporter of being a bully. Kinsey Schofield, thank you.